Hi guys, now I'm going to introduce the Cage 1779, which is specially designed for Panasonic G7. Let's take a look at its overall appearance. There are three 3 8 inches ready holes and many quarter inches ready holes on the top, so you can mount with the top handle or NATO handle. There is one code shoot on each side of the cage, which allows you to mount the magic arm, microphone, and some other accessories. There is a NATO rail on the left, which can be used to mount NATO handle, NATO EVF mount, and so on. There is a 3 8 inches threaded holes and lots of quarter inches threaded holes on the bottom. Next, let's begin to install. First of all, put the camera into the cage. Tighten the quarter inches screw to a half loose state. And then set the T block into the hot shoot on the camera. Fit the two M3 screws and tighten uniformly. Now we have finished the basic installation and I'm gonna to show you the compatibility of cage 1779 raised the camera screen. It can spin to arbitrary angle and you won't affect the use of camera buttons and dies. The button battery covered could open normally. Next, let's begin to mount the external accessories. First of all, mount the Arca stand quick plate on the button. Then lock it to finish the installation. We can mount the NATO handle on the left to hold this. We can also mount the NATO handle or top handle on the top. Next, let's take a look at the design of the cold shoe and the NATO rail on both sides. We can mount a monitor to the NATO rail on the left and mount a microphone on the cold shoe on the right side. You could also exchange the two devices according to your using habit, but you need to pay attention to take down the EVF mount on the bottom of the monitor and use the magic arm with cold shoot instead, in order to mount with the cold shoot on the right conveniently. At the last, we can mount the HDMI clamp on the false thready hole on the right to prevent HDMI from slipping out. Alright. That's all for today's introduction, thanks for watching.